Now the last section. And please here also again remember the first ayah of the 20th section of Surah Al-Baqarah which I termed Ayatul Ayat. إِنَّ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ وَالْفُلْكِ الَّتِي تَجْرِي فِي الْبَحْرِ بِمَا يَنْفَعُ النَّاسِ وَمَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ مَاءٍ فَأَيَا بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا وَبَثَّ فِيهَا مِنْ كُلِّ دَابَّةٍ وَتَصْرِيفِ الرِّيَاحِ وَالصَّحَابِ الْمُصَقَّرِ بَيْنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَعْقِلُونَ The brief of this long ayah is here and this is the first ayah of the 20th section of Surah Al Imran I have been giving you the points you know of similarity between these two surahs إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لا يات الليل إلا الباب. Verily in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation or the difference between the night and the day, there are signs, clear signs for those who are people of understanding. الذين يعقلون أول الباب. They are they mean the same thing. Those who use their intellect and those who are people of understanding. This is actually to see these signs of nature. And from these you understand and have the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is all powerful, omnipotent, omniscient. His wisdom is complete. His authority is complete. So all these attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are manifest in all the signs that we see in the skies and the heavens, the sun and the moon and the winds that are blowing and the rain coming to the earth. And you know that there is all the greenery in, in the desert, all types of animals. All these are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You start to see the signs and you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now once you have known Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, now the second step is, الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامُ وَقُعُودًا Those who keep Allah in their minds, in their hearts, remembering, they continue remembering Allah. قِيَامًا whether they are standing or they are sitting or they are lying down. These are the only three conditions of a man. I be a human being. Either sitting or standing or lying. No third. So all the time, it means all the time. Keeping Allah in your heart and mind all the time. And then pondering over the creation of the heaven or earth. This is the second step. The pondering, the result is the Rabbana ma khalaqta haza batila. They come to the conclusion and they say to Allah, O oh, our Lord, you have not created all this in vain. Without any result, without any purpose. Everything has a purpose. Even a, a blade of grass has, is subserving some, some purpose in this, in this universe. Every, you know, leaf of a tree is a factory of photosynthesis. You know, the, the, the energy of the sun is being converted here. And that is the energy of the sun. The wood, when you burn them, burn the wood, you are getting that the same energy which was stored here by the process of photosynthesis. So every leaf is a factory of photosynthesis. So actually everything has something, some, 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 some purpose, has some end to, to perform. Now what is the purpose of the moral sense that man has? Man knows by nature this is wrong, this is correct, this is haram, this is, this is good, this is evil. To tell a truth is good. To tell a lie is bad. Need any person be told? Every person, every human being knows it by, very, by his very nature. But where is the result? People who tell lies, who cheat, who are dishonest, they are having wealth here. They are enjoying. They have all the pleasures, luxuries. People who see that nothing haram should come to them, they should never deceive anybody. They have to tell, to, tell truth every, every moment. They are in difficulty. So how come? This is the reverse. The law should be that the good should be that good and the bad should be that bad. Here you know the good is begetting bad and bad is begetting good. What does it mean? There must be another life in which you know conditions will be reversed. Good will result in good 
and bad will result in bad. And that is the philosophy and that is the rationale. After you believe in Allah, by through this reasoning, you come to believe in the and resurrection. There must be another life. Otherwise, this is meaningless. Why this moral sense has been created in me? I am losing due to my moral sense and moral, my, my, you know, consciousness, my conscience. I am differentiating between this is, this is wrong, this is, this is right. I want to keep right, but I have to go without food at night to sleep without food. And this person who has, he has no scruples, no rules, no morality, and he is enjoying life every, every, in every way. So actually, there must be some other world, some other life, where the pious and people, you know, who are righteous in this world, who suffered for righteousness sake, they should be comforted. Just, you know, in the Sermon of the Mount, Hazrat Masih has been reported to have said, those who suffer for righteousness, they will be comforted. And this is the logical. If it is not there, then it is cruelty. Then it is injustice to me. If I am, I am trying to, to live here according to principles, to keep myself away from whatever is wrong, then I am being punished for that here. So actually that is the logic. الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامٌ وَقُعُودٌ وَعَلَىٰ جُنُوبِهِمْ وَيَتَفَكَّرُونَ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ They come to the conclusion, رَبَّنَا مَا خَلَقْتَ هَذَا بَعْتِلَىٰ Oh Allah, you have made nothing, created nothing without a purpose. This whole universe, it is with wisdom, it is with purpose. رَبَّعْتِلَىٰ سُبْحَانَكْ You are exalted. You are very much above this, that you might have created this, this world without any purpose. If there is going to be that judgment and reward, so Allah subhanahu wa Allah, save us from the fire of hell, from the punishment of hell. Rabbana, idna kabant udkhilin nara faqat afzayta, O our Lord, whomsoever you throw into the fire of hell, faqat afzayta, he has been put to the extreme humiliation. You have extremely humiliated him. Mamali zhalimina min ansar. And there will be no helpers for the evil doers. Rabbana innana sameena. Now this is the third iman. Iman billah with tawheed number one. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal lardi wa khtilafi layli wal nahari la ayati liyuli lalbaab. Iman billah, tawheed. Now from tawheed to maad. Alladheena yaskuruna allaha qiyamu wa quudun wa ala junubihi wa yatafakkaruna fi khalqi samawati wal lardi. Rabbana ma khalaqta haza batila Subhanaka faqina asab al-nar Rabbana innaka man tudkhil al-nar faqad afzaita wa ma li zhalimina man insar Now when these were the things to which Muhammad was inviting sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Believe in your Lord in his unity in his attributes believe in resurrection that you will be elected and judgment will be done Now when this call reached their ears people who were the right thinking people, good natured people. They had reached these conclusions themselves. But now the same thing was coming to their ears by the voice of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And for that, for that matter, all the prophets, they were calling towards Allah, towards the Imam. Now this is the third step. Rabbana innana sami'na munadi an yunadi lil iman. Oh Lord, we heard a caller, the voice of a caller, who was calling for, for Iman, for faith. So come and have belief and have faith in your Lord. Oh Allah, oh our Lord, we have come to believe, we have the faith. So oh our Lord, forgive us our sins. And blot away all the bad evils from our records as well as our characters. If we have gathered something wrong in our characters, oh Allah, wash us off of these and, and blot, blot out all those things from our character or from our record. Already we have committed those things. And take to thyself our souls in the company of the righteous. When we die, our souls should be in the company of the righteous. 
علیہ من النبیین و صدیقین و شہدائے و صالحین و اللہ کیپس اندیر کمپنی دی ہیر آفٹر